Hey. Hey. How's it going? I'm good. How are you, Tom? <laughs> I'm good, man. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been a month or something. Two yeah. months, maybe. Yeah, it's been a while. You went to like Iceland. Yeah. And what what was it? You Iceland, went Scotland. Yeah. Or... Ten days in Iceland, five days in Scotland. Oh wow! Yeah, hiking, okay. backpacking. Yeah, I saw being that. Sick. That's crazy. <laughs> it's awesome how we can, uh, how like you could do something like that, and I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> that kind of brings us to our topic here. Absolutely. It's like, Without that, you know, without, well, our topic is the internet, you know, right. the, the world of the internet, because it's a crazy thing. The internet of things. But without that shit, I wouldn't, I would just have to go based off your words. Yeah. I would just yeah. have to try and I'm to a imagine. liar, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I got to Iceland, there's this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, man. Sick. But, uh, yeah, what the hell? All right, so let's start. Yeah, like you were saying, like we were talking. So about. I was asked bef- before he uh, pressed play. I was asking him what his working definition of the internet would be, aside from just like the physical network of servers and whatever. So okay, definite. I would say data transfer. Data transfer. That would be my best, quickest definition. I'm, you're not wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's it's I mean, what it is. Like like I was saying, I I looked a lot into like the history of like. Not not only the internet, but like computers. Yeah. And essentially, I mean, you go back. Computers started with like calculators, essentially. Yeah. Giant calculators. Pretty much. And phones. That's I mean, because. You see the you see the the uh, press cards. So like you you slide them in, oh, yeah. and then it basically, <laughs> you know, it's just each one of those little punches is uh, like ones and zeros. Yeah. Basically, today before digital was digital. Yep. And they did everything physically with the machine. It would have been really easy. You know, I think computers are very uh, super, super complex nowadays. Like I think of like when my dad, my dad knows a ton about computers, especially the history. And if you got that foundational understanding back then, like I'm sure it blew people's minds back then. Oh my God. But like understanding like what a megabyte is, you know, back then or why. Like memory in general. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like nothing. Yeah. Because I mean, like... (laughs) My – the older people in my family uh, still kind of have a problem with the idea of, like, how do you fit it, like – because they think physical, you know? How do you fit that yes. much stuff on this yep. little chip of nothing? Yeah. You know? I mean, that's a, that's what I'm saying. My laptop is, like, you know, I can fit it in a gym bag. Yeah. The first computer that they actually used, you know – I mean, back then it was more for just military use. You know, when they first started, it's not like everybody had a computer. Right. They were the size of, like, a fucking horse. Yeah. Like like a room with just a bunch of no screen, yeah. no keyboard, no, no. It was just switches and yeah. knobs. Yeah, it was terrifying. Which is brings yeah, you know, just like the ones and zeros. You know, yeah. they use all those switches essentially for that. Whereas nowadays, that's like program. That's like already in the, you know, that's the algorithm of the of how it works. And then yeah. then you go into coding, and that's just. You know, nowadays, yeah, Beyond, yeah, they're just so much more complex. You're right. They would have been just and a being lot born, more simple. Even in, I think, 90, 90s was a good place to be born, or a good time to be born, or like the late 80s or something, where you came up and you saw, you know, it kind of go from that more uh, physical structure of a computer yes. to now the very, very digital. Well, well, I think it was like 92, something like that, that the, the actual World Wide Web was yeah. created. Um, and the, yeah, like late 80s, it was like, you know, they started like IP addresses. Mm-hmm. You could actually like go to an actual like site, essentially. Yeah. So like before that, you're talking 50s, 60s, 70s. It was just giant things that were just meant. I think it, it was, was intranet back then. So the yes. difference between internet and intranet is basically like, and the reason the internet really uh, was was like became a thing. A guy named um, Tim. If I'm remembering correctly, Berners Lee. Oh my God! Yeah, yes. how do you know? It? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So essentially, they were making it. Uh, they were making it so that would it would make office work easier. Yes. Um, and an intranet, especially in an office uh, setting, uh, you know, each computer, each access point is able to um, access links to yep. you know more uh, like you know pages and 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 whatever files basically. Yep. And that was the first part of uh, its evolution. There's also something called Gopher. Did you? No, I didn't hear about that. that. So essentially, Gopher was the same idea. Um, The only reason nobody's ever heard of it and nobody, like, you know, it was never, it never became any bigger than 
uh, in intranet was because they they uh, it wasn't open source essentially they 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 pay, yeah. they charged for it yeah so like it was 0.7 cents or whatever every time you clicked on a link yeah and yep. gopher was set up in a way that you know and i don't want to get too dry here but gopher <laughs> was set up in a way it's actually really interesting that it yeah, was a lot of it, is. it was like the first search engine so you you know you would okay. click links uh in a big database of links mm -hmm. and then get more and more specific as okay. you went through so it's very it's similar to how our search engines work now only yeah. now we can actually like type in exactly what we're looking for right which kind of like bypasses all those clicks of getting more specific you exactly. can just type it in yeah google adwords and the algorithm that yep. it uses a lot a lot better now <laughs> for sure yeah that's crazy i mean yeah a lot of this can be like i guess kind of boring but it's it's super super crazy how yeah. i mean that's there's people alive right now who were alive before the first computer. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a insane. Lot. That's fact, not that long ago. I'm thinking probably most people. Yes. Oh, wait, the first computer. Well, oh, obviously yeah, the internet. Yeah. No, the internet, uh, yeah. Well, that's even crazier, yeah. 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 Before we could actually go on a website, there's a ton of people like, yeah, shit. Yeah. I was born in 95. They was cr World Wide Web created in, well, you know, see, that's the other thing. I looked into a lot of this stuff. But a lot of the names and a lot of the things that I found were in America. Oh yeah. So what? What would if I searched that in Russia? Would I find the same things? If you searched what in Russia? Like the same exact, you know, like the history of the, the internet. History of the internet. They'd if be like, was, no, it was Putin. That's he I mean. he, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, developed but and that's engineered. what I mean. It's like a lot of like American names and like American scientists and you know just American ideas where. You know, and I, I mean, it, you go back to like World War Two, or just after World War Two, I believe, um, Russia, the Soviet Union at the time, yeah, right. um, they launched the first satellite, which was essentially the first, you know, outer space computer, so mm -hmm. to speak. But it was like the size of a beach ball. I think it's a uh, Sp Sputnik. Yeah, Sputnik. Yeah. So. It's a dope name. That's like, if they did that before us. Well, then how how do we know that they didn't, you know, think of these things before the research, you know, the researchers that you, if I searched it, you know what I'm saying? Well, Tom, because they didn't. Because okay. They because, didn't. America? because America? America <laughs> is great. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. There's, it's very, there's, yeah. you know, if you're into uh, the, uh, what would you call it? Like speculating, things like that, you yep. know, cons conspiracy. Conspir yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess that would I guess be. you're right. Maybe. Yep. Who knows? I don't, I don't know. I just see it like. I wasn't there. If you, I don't know, my buddy plays like video games with this dude in like different country. Um, this is how I, this is what I thought about when I thought about this. Um, like if we search something on YouTube, it's different from if they search it, they're going to find all the things in their country with that. So I would think it would work the same way with like any search engine. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, they're gonna see their kind of stuff first. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you know, we never really know, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why you can go to a uh, foreign web page and translate it into English. Yep. I mean, it's all like the AdWords are words. You know, that if there are words that are, uh, you know, the same thing in another language, it yeah you know, it works. Yep. Th you know that way too. Yep. So and that's even crazier. I was gonna say. For, for my working definition, I thought about this on the way over. I was like, what? See, I, I don't even know if I can explain it without, you know, being boring. The internet is the culmination of all of human knowledge at the present oh, moment. Yeah. All of very it. good. Everything. Very good You know definition. what I mean? It is. And it's live. Every time somebody learns something new, uploads it on, right there. now everybody else knows. Yep. And that's unbelievable. And I mean, you even get into, okay, this is where I get a little scared. All right. The, Last night I was talking to somebody about um, intermittent fasting. Okay, mm -hmm. just this morning I woke up and I use um, Audible, the audiobooks. Yeah, same. Uh, I woke up. I had a notification of a suggestion of an intermittent fasting book. Yeah, I didn't search anything. All I did was talk about it. So, is this your new phone? It's a it's a phone I've had for a while. Okay. You sure you never searched anything? Uh, well, or like typed it into I've, YouTube? I've definitely searched it before. Okay. Like you know, depend. You know, yeah, I've probably searched it before on right. my phone, but I mean, this isn't the first time either. Right. It's like you. It's I don't know. You know, maybe maybe it's something else, but it's 
like i mean even you know computers your webcam you know oh yeah you know what i'm saying that's a whole nother issue oh, yeah. it's like a, any camera on a computer well that can be accessed in so many different ways oh, absolutely are you worried about uh, uh a big organization accessing it no. or a hacker like somebody who is maliciously trying to get at you. Yeah, well, see, I, I guess that's the question. Because, because that's that's really the biggest I feel like problem. I feel like it's it's more of just like I don't I don't want to get all like, you know, I don't think it's like a person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like it's it's the, it's the government. It's the uh of Russia. The intelligence of the of the internet. Yeah. Because it knows, you know, everything you think you that type the in, internet itself Yes, it's and conscious. I don't, I don't want to say it's like an AI, you know. So I don't want to go that route. Now, but <laughs> I, you know, I can I can kind of agree with that. Yeah, I can agree that's with that. essentially what it is. The um, the internet. Okay, so what get when what gets scary is when we talk about AI in the addition to the internet, right? Okay, when you're we right. give when we give you're AI right. the uh, access that it needs mm-hmm. to learn and better itself and yeah. make creative changes maybe to its own code or its own you know hardware or whatever um there's a you know there's a lot that ai we don't know about yet yep yeah i met a guy in iceland who who works well he doesn't work he's actually going to school for it but he was explaining it to me like the the idea of telling a ai system to do something uh in its nature means it has to be alive like the AI has to maintain itself. It has to be able to understand. And, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. So it has to have power. Yep. So what is to say that the AI wouldn't try to, you know, make it harder and harder to get rid of it, you know? Yeah. So, and I've heard this on other podcasts, but I thought it was a really interesting point. Like if you tell an AI, because it's unfeeling, it doesn't, you know, it, exactly. it's completely it 100% logical. And if we give it to the access to the internet, especially it'll be able to grow and learn and learn and learn, you know, yep. everything that we know everything, and yeah. then maybe beyond this. In real time. In real just time. Like, just like exactly. our, yeah, just but like it, our searches. So they, they use the, um, the, the paperclip thing. Do you hear this? No. So you tell the AI that uh, its function, what it does is make paperclips. You need to, you know, figure out the best way, okay. the most efficient way to make paperclips, right? Now, Sure, I'm sure it'll be good at that, and it'll increase paperclip uh, productivity by whatever billions of percent, yep. you know. Um, but at a certain point, that it doesn't have the uh, understanding and the emotional intelligence to to know that maybe now that it can make every atom in the world a paperclip, you know what I mean? <laughs> now it's like eating trees and like you know what I mean, like everything exactly. just to like reform, yep. you know. And, and, and that's like that's kind of a joke, but it's yeah. almost a real fear. They don't have that stopping. It's the unknowing of yeah. of yeah the possibilities, and yeah. yeah, that's. But yeah, the internet itself is it is essentially an AI. And, you know, it it yeah. needs to, in you know, in real time, just like we were talking about, in real time, it needs to be able to give you information. So it needs to learn that information. It needs to understand it in well, you know, we're, you know, in a sense. Yeah, but. Yeah, that's it needs to be able to process it in the way exactly. that we would process it. Yep, and that's what we're working towards. You yes. know what I mean? Being able to ask a question to to a thing, and it answers you, and then you can ask a question about that question. Yep. So it has context now. That's the other crazy thing. You can pretty much ask. You know, type in, let's say you're on Google, you search whatever you want in any way you want, right. and it's gonna give you how many pages of links that will, you know, of articles that journalists wrote of, you know, all sorts of websites that are about that. Yeah. And it goes deep. you could type it in any way. You could put a couple words about yeah. it and it'll still come up with, you know, that information, Yeah, in which is order. insane. Yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah, I, I have noticed that. I, I don't personally do that. I don't, I don't say Obama how old or anything like that. Oh, yeah, that no. annoys the crap out of me when people do it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I, it it it'll still tell you. Some people, I don't know. I see this more in like I guess older people, like I don't know, parents, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And you know that goes back to our, you know, when it was created, when the webs, you know, websites and the internet essentially was created. 
it's within a lot of people's lifeti- lifetimes. So, you know, if they were alive way before that was created, then they're probably going to have a hard time, you know, understanding the complexity of what it is now. Totally. But a lot of people type, you know, if they're trying to search something, they could type like a full sentence of like <laughs> unnecessary words in there. It's like, yeah. just simplify the sentence and you're going to get a much better right. search result. Just keywords, it's, keywords. Yeah. That's it. That's and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to do like, you know, just three words that it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. I mean, it'll still probably give you some results, but like some people go way above and beyond with like a question. There's so many words and, and then they wind up getting like articles and, you know, research that is just way out there, yeah, not even based stuff. on the topic because you have so many words in there. They just, it's crazy to see. Um, They just have never had to interact with something that doesn't have discretion you know what i mean yep. it doesn't have discretion no, unless you none. give it discretion exactly. you know what i mean so keywords only it's all um, based on what you the, tell yeah exactly yep. unless you're looking for an exact quote or something which you can always throw into google to the detriment of all students everywhere i know that's <laughs> another crazy thing it's like the documentation yeah. of things has improved enormously just with oh the internet God, yeah you know before it would have somebody would literally have to be sitting there with a book and write write down what somebody said now right. it's like you know there's you could just put a microphone there how amazing is it though that we have that opportunity right now that's like it, you can learn anything and in such a short amount of time that's, yeah it's right there you, you can get all like i said all the combination of you know all of human knowledge like you want to be a doctor or say you know there was no more school and you know you just want to become the best doctor you can all of that information is out there already yeah you know absolutely you know every or at least you can find the book online yeah i was gonna say where it might be if there's no article about all these companies is kind of that's kind of how they get you nowadays because the information's out there but you just have to pay for it some of it yeah yeah, so like the audible we were talking about yep but go ahead yeah Yeah, audiobooks and just like like you were saying if you wanted to be a doctor you can find all that information but if you wanted to actually you know study the same like books study the same like you know uh just concept, same content. concepts of yeah. of what a doctor is actually learning in a school you know in a, you know to become a doctor right you're going to have to like e- either buy a book or you know something like that yeah. and that's all companies and you it's know true. when the when the world wide web was created that's companies jumped right on top they said what we can have a website we could sell products we oh, could totally. advertise like that was never a thing before what like the 90, 80s late 80s early 90s that they could never no company could advertise online yeah you realize Word how different we would be flyers and billboards and whatever that is so crazy that just the, the game has changed like the internet has changed everything for sure and for sure with, everything like, sex uh, yeah. you know, oh my god fitness. Yeah. yeah i mean why that's Everything. the point we don't need girls anymore <laughs> i'm just kidding no no i mean like it, it it really has and and the beauty is that tom we can do it ourselves now yeah we can yep. be a business not oh, yeah. like you know yep. i'm not trying to like get all high and mighty about the podcast no. but like oh yeah you can you know, just sell like stuff on ebay and make that's a what living. i mean yeah you know what i mean there's apps you know you could just all right uh let it let it go what's that what's that app yeah. it's just like basically like an ebay but it's just an app and it just like i think it is let it, it go it just it just knows where you know you put it in your location mm-hmm. and you just post pictures with a price and it's essentially you know people can just see it if they have the app and then they yeah. can like you know contact you message you or whatever but like anything like like apps in general are that's taking like a website to a whole nother level an app yeah an app is a piece of so- is software. Yeah. So you know the traditional software where you get the box set of Final Cut Pro or Photoshop or yep. whatever. That's just taking that and making it electronic. A, a, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's always been somewhat you know it's digital for the yeah. most part. Yeah. But now it's a web based thing, so it's always connected to the internet yep. as well. I mean, some of them aren't, but yeah, it's not something you gotta like download anymore. Yeah. Or, like put you know get, take you know a well, disc it is. and. Well, it's different. Not the traditional. Yeah, yeah I, exactly. understand. I understand. You don't have to take a physical thing right. and put it into, you know, a CD drive or, right. if, you know, USB, anything like that. You, you can just, it's already on the internet. You just go yeah. on, you click it, download, and that's it. That's where it's going, man. Phones in general, cell phones. 
Oh, they're right. nuts. I can get it. Yeah. But before we get into that, I think I think <laughs> I was gonna say uh I was gonna say how like can you even count the amount of ways that you can make money online? Like I don't think so. I, I it's just it's so open to creativity. I mean, there's you know, there're affiliate marketing, there's ad revenues if you oh, have yeah. your own web page or even, you know, YouTube. Um Yeah, YouTube, just YouTube. You post if you make videos, which is something you could do with a phone. Yeah. And you put them on YouTube will just put ads on your video. Yeah. And it's and then as give simple you money. as that. Now there's I more, mean, stip- more not, stipulations right. nowadays, but yeah. But you know, the general idea sure. YouTube does that for you. You don't have to do it. Yeah. And and you're just making, you know, income. You have something that goes viral and, and that and comes then, yep. And it's just so you know, it just it gives so much power to people that you know, and that's that's why everybody in um like well not everybody, but a lot of people in third world countries, the number one most important thing is they have a cell phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if oh, it's yeah. a crappy one or whatever, it's not running the latest stuff. Yeah, communication. And, absolutely. And that's what it all started with. The like I the internet, computers, you yeah. know, like I was saying, it started with calculators essentially. Yeah. I mean, they started teaching advanced mathematics like calculus, um, chemistry, all that just because of the invention of computers essentially. Because totally. before that, what the hell did we need that for? We didn't nobody understood it. But is that real? Is that true? Oh yeah. Calculus and stuff wasn't yeah, no, before the, before the internet huh. because it's you know why would you need to know that advanced of mathematics if there was no you know algorithms anything like that think oh you know, God, you know what i'm saying my mind dude think about that why the hell would anybody need to know that they just need to survive i gotta look that up that's crazy before, calculus because I've, I've never taken calculus and i'm i'm patently bad at math <laughs> <laughs> just I, you know i've always been not that guy uh, yeah. at math but um, yeah, that's interesting. The calculus and all it the has com- it, like, it, it has made things so much more complex now. Oh, definitely. You know, going to school and having to take, you know, multiple college, uh, you know, computer classes just for any old degree, which is so. I mean, and I'll complain about stupid classes all day, but that is super important oh my to God, get yeah. your way around a computer. Yeah, just a typing class. In- yeah. I mean, and this just you know, now we have keyboards. It used to just be switches on this giant machine. Yeah. Which is, you know, they didn't teach that in school. Yeah, and even if you were really techy back in the day, the inter- like the way, and like you were saying, the way you interact with the computer has changed every year, basically. Yeah. You know, what at I mean? least I mean, you know, at least every decade in a giant. Yeah. Way. Well, to a certain extent, you know, because we had, you know, there was mice. You know, when I was born, whatever, there was mice, and there was a keyboard and stuff like that, yep. and then there was the rolly thing, and yep. you know what I mean. You could use a mouse or whatever, but yeah, yeah, it's totally, it's it's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, very interesting, and that you know, these the computers I was talking about, you know, in the fifties, late forties, early fifties, when they really just started making these for military use for data transfer, essentially. Yeah. Um, I read some the first message they tried to send. There was um, what the hell? A galactic network. Galactic, network. which is what allowed I forget who the hell. Um, I wonder if I have it written down somewhere. Uh, Licklitter, that was his that was his last name. Some dude created this thing that he called Galactic Network, and it's what a, it's what allowed one computer to talk to another on a network. Right. So that's like the concept was obviously to send you know information right for, like i said at this time it was mainly just military use i think one of those computers from what i read um a half a million dollars for you know a computer with no no keyboard no screen yeah. just knobs just for data transfer damn and so this this galactic network allowed was it a physical to... like cat5 cable was it a physical cable that that was no i, I honestly don't I... see that's that's something that i was thinking about also on the way over i was yeah. like okay how did you go from physical hard wires right. to wire yeah and is that even does that even count you know, like, well, yeah, I mean, phones, wouldn't it? phone, hardwire phones were essentially a form of computer. Yeah, I guess you're right. Way before computers. Yeah. Because, I mean, it needed the chip, you know, to be able to actually, you know, it's like before that, what did you have? You had a cup with a string. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, like, or you just walked. I guess yep. you just walked over. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm in the neighborhood. You have to ride your horse and say, yeah. "Hey, <laughs> I, I needed to tell you this like ten days ago." <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's dying in the well. Yeah, come, but come help. So this this network, um, 
it's what he, I don't know. It's what he called it, but sure. it's it was the the first step towards one computer being able to talk to another wirelessly, essentially. So oh, okay. So like wireless. on a network. Right. So, however they did that, I don't it know. It could not have been wireless. It it maybe it might not have been. You know. But again, again, yeah. Honestly, because there were, it, it probably wasn't. Come to think of it, because because it wasn't radio waves yet. There were different networks, like <coughs> like America had a network. Yeah. And those computers could send data to each other, but this network couldn't send information to like Russia's network. Oh. That wasn't even a thing yet. Yeah. They could send, you know, on their, they created a network, whatever that consisted of at the time. Right. And, you know, that computer could talk to this computer. I don't know how the distance, I don't know, you know, wired, not wired. I have no idea. But it wasn't network to network at the time. So they could talk to one computer to another. They tried to send, and I don't know if this was one computer to another on the same network or network to network. But they, the first message they tried to send was the word login, apparently. This is what I read. Login? You know, you know yeah. L-O-G-I-N. Like the verb? Yep. No, I'm kidding. They, oh, it, wait, that is a verb. Well, sure. yeah, login. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You log into something. <laughs> yeah, L-O-G-I-N. Apparently, only the letters L-O were received by that computer and everything crashed. <laughs> they couldn't even get a word yeah. to go from one to computer that's to another. an honest effort. Now that's an we honest. can. That's that's how we communicate. People yeah. don't even talk anymore. They no. just send a text message. That's a good. No, that's a good segue, man. So so <laughs> talk to me about your social uh, media habits. You you personally in the middle. oh my oh yeah. So See how much you that, share. I had another question for you yeah, with that, on that same note, but yeah, uh, social media. Well, okay, with the podcast, it's. A hell of a lot more than ever. You know, it's between promoting certain things, just, um, you know, giving people an idea. That's the other thing. People are, you know, even myself included, everybody at this point, if you have any sort of social media, even really a smartphone, if you have a smartphone in general, you are so much like you're so much more um, dedicated, like uh, you feel the need to present yourself in a certain way oh yeah to to like you know whoever you know the world essentially whoever's you know your friends on you know social media you could be whoever you want but before that you could be a black belt in karate <laughs> nobody will know yeah nobody will even know <laughs> <laughs> before like any social media is like nobody nobody had any care yeah. of what other people thought well now there's serious issues you know about about each other you know what I'm saying yeah. so now there's serious issues where people don't even like who they are as a person because of they're too worried about how people see them. Yeah. And that's all if you didn't if we didn't have an internet, that would not be as big of an issue. Yeah. I mean the, the there's just the so public, much information. The persona, the face that you put on for the internet. Yeah. For sure. Um I I do it. I mean, everybody, well, everybody who has a social media account kind of does it unless they don't use it and they're just too cool for social media, exactly. which I envy those people, first and foremost. Yeah, there's, it's, but, that's what I mean, yeah. You know, I think that, you know, the better your social media account is, the lonelier you are. And, that, and that, well, it could be. Uh, it could, yeah, no? It, it could, well, it depends on how you feel about yourself. It depends on your, your self, like, you know, confident, your, your, your idea of yourself because right. if you if you're worried more about what people think of you than you are about just who you are yeah then absolutely 100 percent. but you could you could be a person that Being narcissistic is what you're saying like it's versus like it's either you know i'm lonely and i need attention versus i'm narcissistic and i need attention because either <laughs> way you know what i mean yes. so well i i I I know that when I'm going through a rough patch or something like that, it is I get a sense of how would I say this? Like I get a sense of f- f- fulfilling. I don't know. I I'm, I feel more fulfilled when at least I got that squared away. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Yep, so absolutely. my Instagram's on point. Yep. My Facebook is like that's yeah. You know, awesome pictures. I'm out there doing stuff, and you know, <laughs> I'm super. You know, super yeah. happy and having how a great people life. See you. for exactly, sure. Exactly, for sure. Yeah. I mean. It, it it's almost like a way to hypnotize yourself into believing it. And and I guess you could look at that as a good thing or a bad thing. I, you know, it's a crush. in a general sense, it's 
not a great thing. It's, you know, it's, well, it's a change. It's really just because any, any kind of, uh, Anything that really makes you feel better, if you're not feeling, you know, great, yeah. is good and it's healthy. But see that see that's a terrible point. <laughs> but, but that's like, what, that's what I mean. Cocaine will make you feel better. Well, okay. okay, all right, yeah, going towards. Yeah, I got <laughs> that's you. what I mean. So it matters, you know, to what extent. Yeah. With yeah, especially something like you know, something at like, what at what cost? Yes, essentially. Yes. Yeah. And I find, you know, for myself, and I'm gonna ask you the same question, obviously, but I find for myself. When I am uh, the loneliest in my life, I'm on my phone the most. Yeah. Yep, you know? Exactly. And, and, and maybe not the loneliest. I think that might be the wrong word. I think right, I, probably just feeling down. Yeah, just depressed. and Yeah, and depressed and or something. Anxious. anxious. Yep. Right. It's a great – it's a, it's an escapism that it definitely it, – it tricks you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because – And that's where, you know, meditation – and stuff like that is kind of you you know you're going the opposite direction because you're being more okay with you're you're paying attention to your inner self to so totally. to speak instead of worrying about you know your view you know how pe- how other people view you and just you know that sense of um feel you know other people's ideas absolutely so, and i mean you know that's that's kind of where people before computers were at they had really no other choice. You know, they could go to their family members, maybe, you know, whoever was around them, but that was in person. Yeah. Nowadays, it's, you know, you look at your social media or you want to talk to, you know, you would call somebody up or something like that. Yeah. And I never or you just a... sat. Yep. There is so much sitting in yes. people's lives. Have you ever like, <laughs> I, all right, so I know you don't use your, your whatever, your social media, whatever. Uh, you probably have something that you, you know, you go to. You know, when you're like, oh, I'm bored. It's time to look at my phone. It's time to check my text, shoot a text to somebody, something like that. absolutely, yeah. Have you ever just, like, put your phone somewhere Mm -hmm. and, you know, people make the joke about on the toilet and you feel lost in the void or whatever when Uh, you you don't have your phone and you're, you know. See, I'm not not like that. No? Not just sitting with your disgusting humanity. Definitely definitely (laughs) sometimes. I need to be on Tumblr. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so ashamed. Yeah, no, there's, that's a serious, that's a serious thing. (laughs) For most people, yeah. yeah. For most people with, like, especially with social media in general. Like, it's so much harder to just sit somewhere without your phone, without without that, without that you know, escape. Yeah. Then Time passes is so just, much slower. Yeah. So much slower. If yep. you, if you, like, especially, you were talking about meditation, I was thinking about that because I've been slacking, kind of, but I go through, I go through ups and downs. Yep. I'll string, like, uh eight days in a row together of pretty solid meditation um and then just like fall off real hard for four days and then whatever but meditating and then just like sitting after the meditation like you're not necessarily meditating anymore but just kind of like thinking about the day ahead or the day before me or how i feel in the moment it just makes you feel like whoa Oh, I was really in my head there for a couple of years. <laughs> I do, I, I've been doing yoga a lot more, yeah. and I'd get that while, you know, when I'm doing just the deep breathing. I don't ever have my phone near me while I'm doing it, and yeah. I just, you know, I just get lost in my head. I think about, you know, think about the day, think about what, I, you know, just think about things. And it's, it's yeah, you're right. You just get that, like, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And it's like so much, whereas, you know, on the other hand, if you were to just instead of doing something like that, you just like you're on social media for a while, you, you don't get that. You 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 wake up out of it and you're just like, oh, now I got to do something else. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's a constant stream. It's a total like, and this I mean we're kind of talking a lot about meditation, but I think it's a poignant. It's a it's a poignant point. Uh, it is the opposite of being present. Yep, being on your phone or or you know. You know, thinking about the past, basically nostalgic about the past uh, or looking at what everybody else is doing so that you can, you know, use your, you know, judge, judgy yep. m- muscles or whatever. Yeah, that's another thing. Is, I love judging people. God damn. Just, yeah. You more than likely if you're if all right, so a lot of people just sit, you know, like you're uh, sit on the toilet or something. And you, yeah. You're scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, whatever you got. You're looking at what everybody else is doing. You're yeah. so interested in what, you know, how this person spends their time and, you know, if you like what they're doing or, you know, how yeah. you feel. About, you know, and it's 
why you know why because it's my well i mean this is terrible obviously but it's my version of watching you know whatever jersey shore or like garbage tv like oh those people suck i'm never like i'm not those people those are other people other people are stupid you know what i mean i actually keep friends that i i i I hate them (laughs) i'm like you are so you are so terrible (laughs) but i'm not gonna unfriend you this is too much this is too good you know what i mean um, cause then you can, you can look at yourself and be like, Oh, I'm not doing so bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. And it's hard to be friends with people who are sick, you know, like who yeah. are like really awesome and, and doing well in work yep. and whatever, because then you're like, Oh damn, I'm not even close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. And I mean, some people have the opposite, you know, if you, if you know what I mean, where they see somebody doing really well and they don't like it they don't like them because of the fact that they're doing better than, than themselves or they, that's how they feel. Whereas, you know, you were saying where you, you, you got friends where you, you can't stand them, but you're still friends with them. Totally. So it's kind of like the opposite of that. You know, you're looking, you don't like somebody because of the fact that it, but in your opinion, see, that's, it's your opinion that they're doing better than that, than yourself. Yeah. So well, I mean, it depends. Yeah, and and I'm sure it's happened to you before too. Like if oh, somebody yeah. puts something online, like, you know, nice new car or whatever, like exactly. whatever, objectively, totally fine. I'm yep. not actually upset with that, but it's the way you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what exactly. what does that mean? Your yeah, stupid caption. <laughs> Sick yes. new car. Yeah. Looking at another one tomorrow. Oh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's. It's insane how much we pay attention to other people, yeah, and and what they're doing, and what? then and then relate it to our lives. Yeah, it's the way. I mean, we're it's it's evolution. You know, yeah. that's how we that's how we evolve. We looked at somebody else. Like, what is the right thing to do? Oh, okay, so he did that. All right, what what about this guy? You know, okay, yep. he's doing this one or she's doing that, and then you just kind of like make your own as you get older, and especially us being you know young twenties. Yeah. Um, we're still doing that if we, whether we like mm-hmm. it or not and i think we we keep doing it to to a certain extent for the rest of our lives till we die hopefully because yeah, we, i mean you know got to pick out what we like and get rid of what we don't you know what i mean and, that, and all that certainly isn't going to go backwards you know it's no. going to keep progressing like 20 years ago there was no such thing as any of this yeah nobody thought about this because there was no social media there was hardly internet it just started yeah you know it's like it's an interesting problem to have. Yeah. The internet is an interesting problem to have. It really is. You know? It changed so much. It's outrageous. Yeah. There's so, oh, so I I had a question for you based on the same type of thing. You asked okay. me, like, how much, you know, how much I'm on social media with, with that. Yeah. How often do you look at your phone? If I had to take a guess? Yeah. Like, just ask okay, so, on right, a daily so basis. There's something. I, I work remotely, and I check in. I do all my... Uh, reporting and stuff like that through my phone. So I'm going to say that doesn't count. Let's say yeah, no. every time I hit something that's for entertainment. Socially, yeah. Entertainment and en- Entertainment. Social. Yeah, or social. Yeah. Right. Well, social is entertainment. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> I count it. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, exactly. Um, over 100 times a day. For sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Easy. I mean, and I'm not, I mean, that's conservative. Yeah, yeah. You know? Are you a phantom vibrate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, like oh, I, I get it. Yeah, I, I think everybody who looks at their phone more than five times a day probably has gotten it. Yeah, if you're if you have to in a day, if you ever feel the need to like just take your phone out and look at it for no reason, for nothing. I I would you probably got it. I was looking at the time and then I'm clicking on something, yes. I'm clicking on something oh else, and I'm it's just too much. Like I, you know, there's times I unlock my phone to specifically. Like do something, yeah, and I'm and I wind up on Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do the same thing. Have you ever looked at your phone for the time and then locked it, put it back in your pocket? And you're like, shit, what time is it? <laughs> Every day of my life, every single That's day. That's exact. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm doing something productive, oh, shit. you know. That's yeah. hilarious. No. Yeah, and that's it, it's it's terrible. Have you ever seen somebody get f- fan and vibrate? Just like been... <laughs> I, I don't know. I wasn't looking over their shoulder, Tom. What do you mean? I've seen somebody like like, you know, as if somebody started calling them right there mm. and they they're just like, "Oh." And they take their phone out. And they're just like, "Oh." oh. <laughs> 
It's oh like you God. literally, your leg just vibrated. <laughs> but it didn't. You just felt your leg <laughs> vibrate. Cause it so... was just my crippling existential loneliness. <laughs> Shit. I thought it was oh my God. nice. It's I thought it was, somebody liked my comment. And again, 20 years ago, there was no such thing as Yeah, anything. man. What the hell is a vibrate? What vibrates 20 yeah. years ago? <laughs> Let's make a joke. I don't know. Yeah. How much did your family watch this? <laughs> Probably a good bit. Yeah. Who cares, though? Um, I forget my other question. Um, I asked about how many times you look at your phone. I had something real good. Um, mm, about social media? I think was that it the was question? just about shit, man. It's all good. Happened to me twice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> There's so much, man. It's just. It is a lot. It's insane. So what about what, like? All right. So this is a little. All right. I don't know if you want to talk about this, but probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say again uh, with you know how much your family or whatever people you respect uh, watches. Yeah, I don't really. What's care. what's uh, what, what do you think about porn? And what do I think about? Yeah. It? What do you think about it? Well, like in what aspect? Like I mean, do you indulge? Do you engage? Well, yeah, sure totally. have. Nice. Absolutely, everybody has. I mean, yeah. Well, you have. It, it sh- at the very least... Do you think it's you damaging? You wanted to know what it was. No, I think it's... Honestly, I think it's healthy in in the sense that it opens people's eyes to what there actually is. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. In, in that sense, I think it's healthy. In, I definitely think it could be damaging. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so you're saying depending on how you use it. Yeah, right. absolutely. But Is I it, mean, at the very least, everybody who's heard about porn has at oh, least totally. looked it up to see what it was. Or by accident. So much exactly. of the internet is yeah. porn. That's what I mean. There's advertise. There's scams of all, you know, scam advertising. Not so much anymore, though. No, well, yeah, you're right. That was but, like early 2000s. But that's what I mean. Start, and I loved it. Starting just 20 years ago, <laughs> This there, there was just... You could just get on a website 20 yeah. years ago. So it's like at some point or another, you've de- – yeah, you're right. There isn't as much like scammy like, oh, I accidentally clicked that and now like – A window pops up and crash. You know, yeah, because like a porn bleeding site. and butt sex everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Uh, did like, it freak you out the first time you saw it? Were you young? Absolutely. You freaked you out? I was Did you cry? Young. I cried. Um, no. No? I don't believe I'm just so. just a pussy though. But – I don't know. I don't remember exactly how that. I definitely remember like I was young, um, but I don't remember like the First exact. Grade? No, I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you. But yeah, and plus I got an older brother, so it's like. Oh yeah, totally. You know what I'm saying? I hurt. You know, and especially like all a lot of my friends were like my brother's friends, so like all older, and so there was definitely. I was opened up to more of it, I guess, before I even thought about, like, looking it up. Oh. And that, you know what I'm saying? So they're just saying stuff. Like, yeah, like, exactly. what the hell is that? i exact- got to figure this out. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's kind of how that kind of came into the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I think I was I think I was in first grade or something like that because I had a, a friend who was like, I think he told me to do, he, he's like, go to butts.com. And, like... <laughs> I was like the peer pressure. Man. I was like, well, well, no, because I was alone. I did it like late at night, like when I, like, I snuck downstairs in my dad's stupid computer, and I was like, and I was, like started up and it took four hours, yep. and then I was like, com, you know what I mean? And uh, and then I just got a, a mirage, like a flurry of terrible images of of things that I didn't understand and I I liked but didn't like, and then. <laughs> Yeah, and then I I just cried around in my brother's room, and I was like, I don't, I don't ever like that. It's not. I wasn't That's even making hilarious. sentences. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember it very clearly though. Yeah. Awakening of sorts. Uh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Because it was like it was you know. I don't know, man. Porn gets really gross. Oh, definitely. Cause especially like, it's just like the internet. It's progressed as time. Well, s- same with any, any site. You know what I'm saying? Any yeah. any company, anything like anything like porn, um, you know, anything like that, it's continuously progress. Like I mean, progressing. Shit. There's people nowadays that don't it's free consider now. them a gender, like either gender. So consider what either gender. There's what I'm saying is there's people that don't you know that don't like gender fluid. They don't think they're you know they're not a male, but they're not. They don't want to consider them one or the other mm. themselves. So if you think about that. Are you cool with that? Just like let them do whatever the hell that's, they want. I mean, that's not me. Yeah, I mean, 
That's not you to judge, or that's, that's not... That's not me to judge. Yeah, I got you. It's, people are going to do what the hell they want to do at this yeah, it's point. it's no big there's, deal. There's a I don't think it's really a big deal. I just, uh, the, you know... I mean, obviously, if I, you know, I'm not going to... If I related it to, like, my personal personal beliefs, yeah. then obviously, like, you know, I'm not I'm not for it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, but it's, if it's somebody else's thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you had, like, a daughter that was, like... I think I'm kind of a guy. I don't. I don't know what to say about if I had a kid because no. that's a whole different. I think you'd love him. That, <laughs> you're a good dude, Tom. That's what I mean, though. It's like that's not. But I don't have. I don't have children, so yeah. I'm not gonna say how I would feel about that. But you know, just people in general. Like, if that's what you want to believe about yourself, then that's that's you. Yeah. You know, I'm me. You're you. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. I'm not. I'm not against it. Um. But I'll tell you one thing, and this might, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, be offensive at all, but I, 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 I would hope that most people don't. So if the trend was like, now it's a thing that people do and it's okay to do, yep. um, the, you know, I, I would be fearful of like it becoming a thing, thing. Yeah. And, what's and not just like next? an at the, huh? And what's going to come next? Yeah. From... Well, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Cause a... it's like I said, it's going to, everything's continuously progressing, especially yeah. with trends like that. So yeah, yeah, you're right. If it, if it became a trend, then what's, what's happening? You know, that kind of, thing. well, I, I would only say that because I don't want to be a minority, you know, I don't want to be a uh, fair point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and it might be a white privileged thing to say, but if I'm a straight man and there's a bunch of not, like you know like i don't know yeah maybe i don't, I don't know i don't i don't understand it honestly and I, I shit I that's just something completely out of like my understanding yeah with how to feel about that but i mean i don't have a problem with like gays you know what i'm saying like that's kind of, whatever it's like the way oh, yeah, I, I mean the well, way but I that's see the thing it. that's a very established thing gays you know well that's what i'm saying yeah. a small amount you know portion of the population but that's been a a weird thing for like our parents when they were young you know what i mean maybe it's just the you know yeah conscious evolution of society maybe yeah. it's a good thing yeah I absolutely don't i don't know nothing about that but yeah that's <laughs> what i'm saying i don't know but yeah. but anyway so i was gonna say about porn i think it is damaging in what way so because i definitely agree with you yeah but i think it's I, see it's hard to say I, I i think it's damaging the first time too not, you know, obviously like, oh, that's a thing and whatever. I think it's like, it's just more fun. It would be more fun to figure it out on your own and like really have that, that uh, innocent like experience. I was just going to say there's too much expectation because of it. There's, there's. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's overridden when you're 16, 17 or whatever, whenever, you know, most people lose their virginity. There's so much, like, so many hormones, and it's really happening, and it's overwhelming anyway. Yeah, so maybe right. it's good that you got a little bit of your brain dulled down, but, you know. Yeah, and that's what I mean by the kind of opening o- opening your eyes of of what's actually out there. Because what what if you saw something, like we were talking about, like, that, that actually, like, is, cra- like, scary to you yeah. in that sense? What if you saw that in person? What if somebody you were with you know what? was that freaking weird and it scared you in person, mm. but you never saw anything like that before? Well, that would only happen because uh, Western societies are super weird about nudity. Okay. Yeah. Am I right? I like, see what you mean. we're not, like, brought up, you know, with nudity around. You don't yep. see girls' bodies. They don't see your bodies. It's all very secret, you know, hush hush. And then we have a crazy, you know, awake, you know, again, I'm going to say awakening when yeah. you, you know, either. Get your first girlfriend and, you know, whatever, um, or pornography. And, and I, I think that I would have liked to have a innocent experience. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. And I think Definitely. I was a little robbed of that. Yep. I mean, by myself, on purpose, many times. Every night. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> and that's, yeah, I don't, yeah, I feel you. I, I think it can, I think it's more damaging than it is healthy. But I definitely yeah. think there could, you know, there could potentially be a healthy aspect of it. Yeah, know? I'm not saying it's all bad. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'm just saying that it's probably more damaging than it is. Yeah, absolutely. Good I agree. Because it, it's a drug, man. And it's it's so easy to just be like, I don't use my, I don't want to use my imagination today. You know? Because using your yep. imagination makes it stronger. And if yep. that's all you're using your imagination for, man, hey, 
Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And it, of course, depends on the circumstance. Like, uh, you know, whatever. Real, you know, in real life, you know, depending on the circumstance with that, with how you feel about, I don't know, yeah, I, I think it's more damaging than it is healthy. Yeah. But again, like, For like sure. we said, there's benefits, I guess, in a sense. And it, it definitely uh, <clears throat> contributes to the hookup culture. Yep. But I'm not against the hookup culture. How weird is that, right? <laughs> complex man, Tom. Complex. I'm a complex man. Yep. So I think, and that kind of goes back to the nudity thing, that I think that um, especially women, uh, the stigma, and, and it, I, I believe the stigma kind of comes from somewhat of a uh, primal place, you know, because, yep. you know, if, you, if they've had all, all kind of men's, you know, kids back in the day, maybe not, you know, whatever. But then there's an argument against that, like a tribal parenting type system where everybody did everybody and then everybody raised the kids. You know what I mean? Um, and there's hunters and there was the people that raised the kids and there's, you know, stuff like that. So um, there's arguments to go both ways. Yeah, but and Tinder... This is, and this and, is all like an American... You know what I'm saying? This is all an American problem. Everywhere, totally. everywhere else, it could be completely different. And, like, you know, there's places that look at, just like you were saying, you know, we're brought up without nudity or anything. Yeah. Whereas there's places that are, like, you know, brought up to not give a shit about any of that. Yeah, nude so, beaches, everything. Exactly. So it's, like, it could be completely the opposite somewhere else. It could be normal. Yeah, absolutely. Which is so weird to think about as, like, an American, somebody who's never, you know, experienced that culture i think it'd be weird for like a second i think if you got there and it was oh, just that's... a thing if you're naked for an hour in front of a bunch of people well, you don't even I mean. think about if it anymore. if it's a thing if that's how the culture and that's adaptive yeah. culture like you totally know, you go from one workplace to another you're you just get used to, you're just like oh this is how this is here yeah okay. it's not crazy maybe a little bit of shock at first and you're yeah, like oh absolutely nervous. but yeah absolutely what do you think about like tinder plenty of fish yeah okay cupid what a, let's think of them. Grinder, <laughs> grinder. That's a big one. Um, I think for the most part, see, and that comes back. I think I agree with like your whole idea on, um, like, it'd be better to just do that naturally. Do you think so? But it see, it really depends. Are you talking from initial like being a kid from like first time, or are you talking? Um, like, you know, not, oh, oh, I'm talking what like saying. adult dating because that's a whole different, <laughs> I think I'm talking about adult dating, right? Like how I, I, I guess maybe on Tinder, in my experience, I've never seen somebody under the age of 18 or either the, that or they're lying. You know, yeah, okay, and, yeah. you know, I've never like seen somebody in person that I met on Tinder that was under the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, as far as adult dating, I think it's. I think it's utilizing the internet that we have. Totally. It, totally. And I, I think mean, it's a great thing. Do you think it makes it harder to, uh, how do you put this? Like harder to approach each other, like the opposite sex, because you can just do it online. Like if you like let something pass you by, like, oh, maybe I'll see her on Tinder or whatever. Yeah. And then I'll know she's single and I'll know that she's like at least down for, you know, friends, You're, whatever. And, yeah. It, that's yeah, I I know it's just know. a safer way, and then you can message it or or him or her or whatever you you know, and then but it also kind of robs you of that whole like just communi go yeah, back to communication. Yeah, it's not a cool story. Yeah, it's not a cool story to tell your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> you go wow. back to like the communication, like then you don't have to actually like you already know so much about somebody. Yeah, you don't actually have to like talk about. You don't have to get into that. You don't have to break the ice in the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. The spe you know, but I don't know. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Oh, I don't think it's break. I, I don't know. Well, because Yet, if you knew you, nothing about somebody and you... It's better to have that authentic like, communication right up front. Yeah. But then again, you can screen a lot faster. Yeah. And I, yeah, I it's agree like, It's like, you know, whatever. And it makes you kind of, you know, it's it's a terrible thing. But what, 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 what are you you're doing it at a bar anyway? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Like if, or maybe not a bar, maybe whatever you do, yeah, um, church event, whatever it is. Bar is just common. Example. Yeah, common example. <laughs> I don't, I've never ever done that. Yeah, so no, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I was going to say that, uh, 
engaging in a conversation with somebody is so risky because there's so many people now. And this is another, this is, I was going to make this other point that, that, um, the, the more people there are, the lonelier we get because back in the day, think about a town, you had maybe five, six, you know, a thousand people or something like that. Everybody knows everybody. If somebody moves into town, you know, that person's not from the town. Mm -hmm. You could have somebody who lived, has lived here for 30 years or moved in yesterday, see them for the first time and have no idea. Just be like, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Where'd they come from? You know? Um, but talking to somebody and like opening yourself up, um, to a friendship or some kind of like even at the very least a brief conversation with somebody yeah, just talking it's just risky what if they suck <laughs> you know what i mean like what yeah. if oh like i hate that yep. and i'm not trying to, you know i don't what if they're just an asshole what if you're just right. like hey how you doing nice to meet you and they're just like get the fuck out of my face yeah <laughs> just like, like what no and there's like, people uh, like that yeah, yeah oh, totally yep. totally i mean yeah obviously you gotta have some compassion they might be going through a hard time whatever exactly but um like or, or even worse than they them sucking what if they're really really weird That's, and it just yeah. like it just gets way it, you know what i mean like it's completely unnecessary amounts of awkwardness yep i would almost rather somebody sp- not spit on me but like cuss me out, cuss me out than yeah. be than just be super awkward and, t- and start talking about something that's like well that's a little there's some people that just open their mouth too much <laughs> about too about too much way too fast it's like whoa <laughs> yes why did you just tell me your whole life story <laughs> yeah. i've known you for five seconds <laughs> yeah i'm sorry about your ex-wife yo <laughs> like yeah she sounds like she sucks Oh my God. But yeah, no, we've all been through that, right? Absolutely. So it's it's a risky thing to open yourself up to yeah. somebody. So you can do that on online. You can be like, oh, hi, you're a little interesting. What's up? Uh, you know, I'm on like on Facebook or Tinder or wherever and just <laughs> say hi, you know? Yep. Now some dudes, I mean some chicks, I guess, but some dudes really suck at that and they just, you know, yeah, tits are good. Uh-huh. You got them. Uh-huh. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm one of them. So yeah, there's, a, <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's, it could go so many ways with that. I'm kidding, mom. Sorry, I'm kidding, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about? Uh, this is a way change of subject. Yeah, but sorry. Um, the weather. What about? Well, without the internet. You, we'd still be looking at the fucking sky. We'd have to, <laughs> we'd have to be there when it happens. Everybody would have a pole in their backyard. Yeah, you'd have to look out. Well, can you see where that shot? You go out and measure that shot. <laughs> it's like, uh, what if it's gonna rain today? You just go There's on literally your phone. no way of knowing. It's like literally a thing on my home screen on my phone. Yeah, I just go up, oh, refresh. I've never thought of that. That's Jeez. like it's insane. Jeez. Well. They probably, I mean, at least in the 1900s, they probably had, well, they had the Farmer's Almanac, and they had the weekly paper, or Definitely. daily paper. Yep. Um, obviously, it's daily, so, like, you get it in the morning, 6 o'clock or whatever, when you wake up to feed the chickens, and, because uh, everybody fed chickens in the 1990s, or not 1990s, <laughs> like the 1900s. Yep. Uh, and it'll probably say something, right? Yeah. All right? Yeah, definitely. I, I don't know. I've never looked at a newspaper figure, hard enough. Why would everybody individually like check you know the the weather let's just say as a general sense yeah why would everybody individually check the weather if one group of people can check it and then just write it in the paper yeah yeah because you gotta figure and that doesn't even take computers that could just be one you know one group of people with that pole in the in their yard yeah. and they're but they're the person that everybody looks to for them writing it in you think like then... like at each town or each like like region has like one yeah. like weather a meteorologist to... meteor wow meteorologist. meteorologist i think there had to be somebody that everybody looked to for for different things like that yeah, yeah. huh because like wow well, you know i mean some a lot of people might have just done it themselves mm. they might have just been uh, a lot of people probably didn't even understand it though the They're, weather well yeah it's an the, act the of weather, god the weather yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Oh my god. Yeah, man. It's an, it's an act of God. Yeah, and that's crazy too. The internet destroyed religion. It really did. You know, I. It, it's one of those things where once you open up, especially kids to other, you know, religions, like oh well, they kind of exactly. believe that. You don't have to read a book anymore. You know about the religion. Yeah. Just look on. You know, line. Look at. 
can watch a video yep. or whatever you on like what why are you religion. this like why are you exactly and that has uh bred a fairly i would say tolerant society you know um yeah in some ways in some ways not maybe i, I could probably make a bunch of arguments against that yeah i think it go both ways probably but but we but you at least like like personally and you know obviously you too like we understand that different you know people believe different things yeah whereas before it was just like you know you knew what your group of people believed and that's what was that's how it was yeah and then if you met somebody else that believed something different they were just like you know yeah, like, they whoa. were a complete outcast yeah and you were just like who the hell are you you know but now it's like we already know like yeah and that's all thanks to the internet you know you can just check that out and to see like and and to see that they believe as um resolutely as you do as yeah. steadfastly as you do is is very eye opening because it's like oh well if if that's how it is for you and this is how it is for me which one of us is really right yep. you know what i mean and then it's like i mean and it just it's another thing like you don't have to read the bible anymore if you want like cases for the bible mm-hmm. type into google cases for the bible mm-hmm. or you know contradictions in the bible if you want yep. the opposite you know what i mean like it's just so much information it's almost uh it's confusing it's very confusing. Especially for kids. That's a scary thing, too, man. Kids with their iPads and being able to Google stuff. Yeah, now, yeah, that's the thing. It's like we're continuously going in that direction. So younger and younger kids are getting access to all the same information yeah. that the oldest person in the world has. Yeah, exactly. So it's, you know. You want to know anything about and Babylonia? <laughs> And they're certainly not going to interpret it the same, so. Exactly. Yeah, it's a weird, you know, I, like, looking at the things, like, I think about, because I spent a lot of time online when I was, like, 13, YouTube mainly, because YouTube is just my favorite thing. YouTube's insane. It's going to yeah. grow. It's, uh, that's something else that's going to explode into some, TV is going to be nothing after, you know what I'm saying? YouTube's, I hope so. I hate, I not like I hate TV. That was another thing I wanted to talk about, is, t- yeah. you know, because without, Without the internet, they wouldn't even be able to film, you know, p- broadcast right. TV show. I mean, it's all made up. That's what bothers me about it. It's, you know, and some of it's okay because it's fact-based and they're just kind of like trying to Just re- telling you the facts. Yeah. yeah. And, but it's like there's just so much bold, like cartoons. I never, okay, I don't, I'm not saying I never liked cartoons. Okay. Obviously, everybody's, you know, every kid has you know, watched cartoons. But they were fine family guy. Oh my God. I don't. I don't know a cartoon that I can. I can point at as a child and be like, I liked that show. Yeah. I liked like adult shows when I was a kid, like very young. Well, maybe like when I was a. When I, yeah, baby, when I was like very toddler, young, toddler. I liked like I don't know. I liked Little Bear. That's that's one. Little oh my God, Little Bear is my shit. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Little Bear is my shit, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Barney, man. Um, I, I watched else? Barney. I don't. I, for, I don't know if I was too young for Barney or what. I was. It was like I was a. I was a baby at that point. Barney okay. came out in ninety three or four. I was gonna say. I think my brother was more into Barney than I was. Yeah, he, he was. was born in ninety three. Ninety three. So, yeah, I'm yeah, about. Makes I'm, sense. I'm the same age as him. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. Know, just cartoons in general. Um, like I agree, obviously, more with like reality TV shows. Um. Just because they're actually like, even like game shows and shit yeah. are better than like cartoons, and because you know, and that's why I, I wish they would just go away and YouTube can just step in. And yeah, YouTube what the cartoons? Has, YouTube, but then again, it's like YouTube or just has all a lot of TV. Of shit. Well, I think uh, shit. Just get rid of all of TV. Re- let's just restart with just YouTube you and can see how it goes. That's what I. That's what I did. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't totally. I, YouTube and like self-made content. Yeah, unbelievable. They have something called YouTube. You, the excuse me, YouTube TV now. Yep. Um, I've been meaning to check that out. It's it's a subscription thing though. Like it's yeah, you gotta yeah, pay okay, for it. Yeah. I have YouTube Red and stuff, so I can download. Okay. I can download the videos and watch them offline, and and I get Google Play Music, so I get all my podcasts, you know, and I can download yep. those. It's pretty sick, but yeah, YouTube's YouTube's up there. Did you like uh, Adventure Time? No. You didn't actually, like it? Was that even, really annoying to you? I never even, like, it's really polarized. heard of it until I was, like, older. Like, yeah. to the point where it was stupid, you know, obviously, because I was, like, too old for it. 
And so like, you say you're too old for it. Oh, I've totally, I've totally like sat, you know, whether it was like with my little cousin or something, like yeah. I've sat there and watched it like yeah. as, as older, you know, and it's like, I don't know. Yeah. It's the same concept as like, they, what's the weirdest thing about cartoons or anything, any show like that? They have this way of really pulling you in. Yeah. No matter really who you, even there's the parents that just sit there and watch shows like that. Because totally. Because it's like. You know, so many colors. It's so <laughs> crazy. It's a mind game, man. It is. It, you ever find yourself when you were a kid sitting down watching Dora? Just yes. because it's on? Just because, oh like, God. somebody else in the house or, or somebody turned the TV on, it was on whatever, uh, you know, network that was on, and uh, you just watch it? Like, you, you like, <laughs> like, you know? That's kind of how yes. SpongeBob was for me, too, man. Oh, SpongeBob yeah. was a perfect, like, of a show perfect five like yeah. i have never seen the most mediocre show in my entire life it's not a 4.9 for me 5.1 perfect five dude yeah i agree I, I, I like it was just if it's on like full house that's another one. Oh yeah that i watched that a lot yeah totally did you ever enjoy one episode a full house no you just you you just spent no, your time just, on yeah, it yeah I was just, <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> just waiting to die that's so weird man <laughs> got this like mind game of like i wonder who like what was the fir- i wish i knew that i wish i looked that up what was the first tv show how did it start how did tv start the first tv show Ooh. did tv Ooh. start with like well it had to have been a couple tv shows at once right yeah. because it would have been like a tv came out and then some exactly. people would get like one network okay and- so what was what was the idea that started let's make this thing called tv uh film's been around since you know so i get okay early 1900s or maybe late 1800s actually no it was probably early 19 yeah yeah. yeah. so you know they had silent movies for a while just just you know picture 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 and it was like just you know what i mean slideshow essentially it's really just a slideshow exactly um yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. I don't know what the first show was though. That's that. That would be interesting to look up. Too bad we don't have uh, anybody to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't got that extra guy in the room. It's just us. Yeah. I wish we did. It would work. Um, true that. True that. Yeah, man. I don't even know. There's just crazy things. It's a lot. There's a lot going on, man. So what? Do you think that? Um, do you think the internet is ever going to be paid for? Like, 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 we're ever going to have to actually pay for it? So to even access, like, anything about it? Well, maybe, I mean, as a network, maybe, you know, it'll be free. But, um, I don't know, that's an interesting question. Like, I YouTube, think... like, you'll have to get a subscription. Because you're, you're, you're cornering, you are cornering the market. Yep. Because YouTube, while it's open source... No, but that would go up against. Uh, that would well, go I think up against they're the... already going in that direction. With they yeah. made YouTube red, so now yeah. there's like an option of, and I I think that's how everything starts because mm-hmm. a company is just like okay we're we could make more money out of this, so then they're just like okay well, let's like add a couple more benefits, but you have to they have to pay for it, and then they're just gonna keep going in that direction just like everything else just keeps going in the direction that it's going. They would have to. Add, they would have to have a value add. They would have to add value to it yep, in order that's to what I mean. because there nobody would pay for that. Added Somebody benefits. would. That would be if you had to pay for YouTube, like you had to with you know. Obviously, it's being paid for with ads, but if you had to, something else would come and be like, yeah, yeah. Guess what? <laughs> nope. And then mm-hmm. and then YouTube would be done. You know who owns YouTube, by the way? No, I do not. Google. That's uh, okay. That yeah, makes you sense. did know that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I think. Yeah. Yep. And, Google uh, is a powerhouse. The, yes. Yeah. Google is the company at this point that is on top of everything, in, in my opinion. With with so many, you know, there's obviously other giant companies, but yeah. Google just runs so much that you wouldn't even, just like that, YouTube. It's like, it's a whole separate company, but yeah, Google runs it. Yeah. It got Google so big. It. Funny enough, Google got so big. You know, and I might be mistaken there. I think Google, Google is owned by a company called Alphabet, which uh, Larry Brim, 
who was the co-founder of Google, started uh, so it wouldn't be a monopoly, essentially. Okay. Um, because other search engines aren't very used, we'll say. Yeah. So and and we didn't, you know, they didn't want Google to be, you know, be cornering the market in any anyway. Anyway, so I think Alphabet is, you know, owns YouTube and Google and like Nest and a bunch of other like crazy yeah. amount of companies. Yeah. But it's just it's just another powerhouse now, man. It's crazy. But that's how much money you can make online. Exactly, yeah. And like you were saying, that you literally can't put a number to how many different ways yeah. you can make money online. And that, you know, there's a lot of scams in that oh, in totally. that sense. You know, you can't just like, oh, I'm a, how do you make money online? You're going to find a lot of stuff that you probably should not click on. Which is hilarious. Like, you probably shouldn't even read because, yeah, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's so funny that they're selling how to make money online and, and making money online. <laughs> like, this is how you do it. All what you got to do is you got to tell other people that how you know. How to make money. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a paradox so and I love it. make a website. <laughs> this is how you make money online. And then, yeah, it makes people pay for that website. Yeah. And they, they're like, oh, my God. This guy is gonna teach me how to make money online. Yeah, you gotta and do a really good you pitch. You pay them, and then for making for how to make money online, and you but you don't actually know how to make money. Well, yeah, you're just gonna build a website to teach people how to make this money. This is online. how you do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've already made my money. I don't need. It's All it's right. insane, and that's literally a way. That's literally something people do. Yeah, it's there's and you could do that with a million other things like and that, how you how you lose weight. Make a website. Make it like a subscription. You know, there's so many different websites that allow you to make a website totally in that sort of you know in any format that you want with any sort of you know features subscriptions email you know offers all sorts of shit you know? yeah dude it's, how about the dark web dude all the like oh the crazy god. amount of drugs and that's like, another i'm like whole it's a lot oh it's my god lot. and like it's hackers just just that that's that's a whole another thing too you know let it you know let alone the fact that there's part of the internet that's like completely unregistered in that yeah. sense. It's a dark web. It's just, you know, there's illegal things after illegal things. and But they're still online. They're still yeah. all, you know what I'm saying? People try to make the argument that it's not just for illegal things. Or actually that it's not for illegal things. Like the reason the dark web exists is, is to protect our privacy, which is a part of our constitution or something like that. Which I like that. Um, but... No, it's totally for drugs, dude. Yeah, it's totally, totally for, for drugs the, and child totally porn. It's totally for all the things that you're just – that they're not allowing you to do. Yeah. But, you know, say – that's another thing about, like, society. We – what do you, like – like, oh, yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say? Who says? Who says that? You don't, no, you know They, I mean? Tom. Yeah, they. <laughs> just said. That's what I mean. It's <laughs> like this all, like – it's like this power That's above. an interesting question. Yeah. We're always well, just like, I'll oh. tell you, I'll tell you what I got that from. There's a guy that did a TED talk and don't know his name. I wish I could give him some credit, but he did a TED talk about um, the dark web and how to access it and why it's a good thing okay. for internet culture in general. Um, that's they, he seems smart. He was doing a TED talk. He's, so he's... <laughs> I'm just parroting him because I think if you really boil it down, I think that phrase, they like, you know, you just, well, you know, like they don't allow you to, you know, it's all the stuff that they don't that they don't want on the normal. Yeah. You know, I think it just refers to the government. You know, if it when you boil it down, you know, you go back in time a bit. It's all based on laws and yeah. rules and, you know, but it all had to be created by the government. Because, well, authority. Yeah. Okay. The authority yeah, on, right. the, on the on the right. on the subject, you know, of whatever you're talking about, you yep. know what they say about mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. Um. And it's just, you know. Yeah, you're right. It's not necessarily the government. That that would be like a type of authority. That's a good question, though. That was actually really, that, that got me thinking. Because, like, you know, it's easy to just say, oh, they. Yep. And then you could just be like, who? You know? Mm -hmm. Which, show me. Who? Where? Where did you see that? And now you got to actually do a bunch and now of research like, to figure out. Like... But I like that. I like. I, I wish we were held more accountable. Um, yeah. It's just, you know, because we could be using the internet for something good. Because back in the day, you could bullshit all the time and nobody would be able to check nobody's gonna read a book about the subject you're talking about <laughs> they're just gonna believe you they're just gonna be like all right maybe oh yeah they said that and so yeah 
he's the guy. He knows. Yeah. He's just, it's crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one, man. Yeah, man. A good topic. And then, you know, like I, we said before, how just advertisements in general, companies, how they can make websites, they can sell products. Yeah. Like that, and that was never a thing before, you know. Mm-hmm. Think about shit, Amazon, you know, any of the, you know, even just the affiliates that I have for the podcast. If you, what if you had to go to the store for everything? Well, there's not enough stores in your area to get everything that you want, yeah. could want. Yeah. But you, you know can of have everything. Anything you want, Tom. Yep. <laughs> Because with the internet, you know of everything. So That's so amazing. You have, the, you have the option of saying, well, this is what I want. Well, if we yeah. didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can find your preferences and yes. then indulge them on the internet. Before. Endlessly. Before as long it as was just like, well, this is what's around. So this is what we got. Yeah. But now it's like, well, no, this is, in, in this place, I saw this. On, online, I saw yeah. this, and this is what I want. Bring a pr- like a printout and look at this. Do you it's have like, this no, in not, your... Uh, that's the wrong model. That's the wrong model. <laughs> <laughs> I want uh, price match, please. It's Amazon. Insane, Amazon man. price match. I mean, that's what they have to do now, though. Oh, my God. Amazon dude. price match. There's no way, but they get around it by saying it has to be a brick-and-mortar store that, that's selling it. It can't be just like sitting in a warehouse. Yeah, it's pretty sneaky. Pretty sneaky. Because they figure if you're already there with your Amazon cutout, looking like a douche. <laughs> like, hey, look, look at this. I want that price, please. Oh, shit, man. And then you say, well, that's not a brick and mortar. That's uh, sorry. But you're here, and you should buy this right now. Yep. You know, what you're I mean? already here. That's how you it came happens. all the way here. Yeah. So do you want this? You don't want to waste the gas. I mean, the gas money probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And that's another thing. That's not even well. Shit. I'm sure it is. What the hell? Like, just got, like, I'm talking about like oil in general. It's like, how do they determine like prices on things? On anything, right? You know, not even just oil. Well, how did that all start? So, what they, they climb the mountain first <laughs> and they talk to the oracle. Yep. And, that's and she it. rides in a cloud for yep. a little bit and then she tells them. <laughs> no, no I like, have no idea. Honestly, per barrel, it's it's not. I mean, it's got to be standardized somehow, right? But then you go back to, like, inflation and just currency in general. Like, like how do they say, oh, the dollar's worth this? Yeah, you know, like, back in the day, it just traded. Like, here, I'll give you this glass for that pen. True. And you were like, all right, I want that glass. I don't need this pen. Yeah. But, like, all of a sudden, we just started, like, oh, well, I got this piece of paper and a couple pieces of metal. Yeah. So, I'll give you this. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is uh, that? So gold goes up and down based on how much there is in you know, circulation. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're so right. So gold, uh, a dollar bill used to be an amount of gold or silver. Yeah, you're right. Basically. Absolutely. And now it's just backed by like the government's just like, yeah, that's a dollar. Just go with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like what do you just, you know. It costs like seven cents to make a penny. Seven? No, it doesn't. Yes. Not seven cents, really. I, I swear to God, that's what seven I, I think cents. I learned it in school. On it. I mean, I, I'd have to look it up to be absolutely, you know, absolutely positive, but that's what I remember. It, I'm it, trying to think about it. It's like junk metal. It's to, not even like... To sum it up, yeah, it's it's zinc um, cover. I, I forget what the hell it is. We did a science experiment in science class in school. Yeah. And it's like you had to... You dipped it in this solution and the and the copper coating Coding. comes off yeah. it, i think it's just zinc and it's just but but it also also remember for, let throw the throw the amount out yeah, it sure. costs more than a penny to make right a penny. i've heard that but I, they have to make a penny because then how are you going to split like a dollar you don't have to make a penny well, i think like australia go got store, rid of their their like really stupid currency you know I, what i mean i think you're probably right yeah like, I did hear like something about nickel that. Dime. Actually, I heard that they were trying to get rid of the penny in the U.S. Like this is years ago, but it's like you think about that logically. You yeah, can't. Why did we hear about that? Who cares? I know. <laughs> exactly. People were freaking out about it. Yep. I don't know. But like you think about that, you go to the, like with the way our system works already, you can't do that. You can't just get rid of the penny because if I go to the store, it's inflation. You would yeah. Yeah. The inflation already screwed everything up. Ooh. You, because if I go to the store, you, based on inflation, you can't give me that thing for and taxes. Yeah. 
You can't just it has give to be me Roundup. Yep. Wow. And then you have to give me the exact change. It'll be 1995 instead of 1999. Just don't be a dick about it. <laughs> <laughs> but that would suck with stuff with yeah. uh, margins that are super lean, like yep. in grocery stores and stuff. Yeah. Um, their margins are so small, but they have the quantity. Interesting. You ever notice like how you can make you think they can make you think something's cheaper just by like putting it 19.99 instead of 20 dollars and you're just like oh that's that's a good deal i mean it it's is just, cheaper just because, but <laughs> I, it, I, know, just, I know i know it looks like you know yeah, your the big one before the your uh, brain i don't just... care what's after that i don't want to think so much you can take my money yeah no <laughs> i'm the same way yeah i mean it's just how they does i mean that's why else would they do right why else would they put 19.99 on the price tag instead of 20 dollars? yeah because it's more than that anyway you gotta pay tax <laughs> that's true that's true or things that are like Thirty four ninety nine instead yeah. of, you know, forty bucks or, yeah. or or something like that. Like it's just a weird number. Like what if it's thirty seven dollars? Now you would think forty at thirty seven, but thirty six not so much. Exactly. Thirty five ninety nine. Exactly. Ah, it's it's all. And a then game. they teach you that in school. Around up, you yeah. know, five and above, give it a shove. Whatever. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So you just you to carry that with you. You're just like, oh, that's not that's not that bad. Right. But it's like if it was a dollar more, you'd be like, oh, that's almost $40. It's, it's too much. I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I think I've done that before. <laughs> oh, you do that. 35 bucks, not a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. All right. Well, you want to uh, wrap her up? I'm down, man. We I'm could, down. Uh, whatever you want. We could chill out for a while. Yeah. Um, it's a good talk on the world of the internet.